Here we're standing on the transom uh, swim platform of the 2012 3100 uh, Coronet made by Tierra Yachts in Holland, Michigan. As you'll notice, this boat has just fantastic lines. Uh, they used to make a 2900 uh, Coronet uh, and they quit making that a few years ago and now they've reintroduced the Coronet line starting with the 3100. Uh, this boat is 12 and a half feet wide, so there's a lot of room inside. From stem to stern, counting the uh, swim platform to the bow rail is 36 uh, feet, five inches. It's a lot of boat, uh, can handle a lot of people. It's great for entertaining. You'll notice that uh, it's really primary purpose is day boating, but it does have a nice cabin area down below to do an occasional overnight and it's great for entertaining. You've got a small galley area down below and a, and a galley area up top. So you don't have to be going in and out of the boat, uh, in and out of the cabin to uh, uh, get your refreshments or your food. We're uh, stepping towards the aft right now. You notice this nice big heavy uh, duty door entrance exit for the transom and a nice large uh, teak swim platform. There, underneath the uh, this compartment here, you have a stainless steel ladder that folds down. This comes back down over it, and make the, you have some grab handles to get up and down uh, as you're swimming. Everything stores away like that. Now, as we uh, work our way back into the cockpit. You'll notice that the cockpit has this seagrass uh, carpeting and it's, it's not like your normal carpet. Very easy to keep clean, stain, mildew resisted. Underneath the carpet, um, you'll notice that the, uh, the Tierra uses this great non-skid. It's nice if you don't use the carpet because when it's wet you won't slip, but it also keeps the carpet in uh, and, and in place and there's no snaps needed. A lot of boats use snaps all the way around. Well, you don't need the snaps with this type of carpet and this type of setup. Also, another nice feature is the uh, stern shower uh, that you can use if you're swimming. You stand out here on the, on the deck and uh, hose yourself off as well as, uh, as you'll notice this grate here huge, huge drain scupper area that uh, uh, if you're getting on the boat and you're wet, it's still going to drain this way. If you're in a heavy uh, following seas uh, in really rough water, if you happen to take some water in here, that is going to take care of a lot of water out of the cockpit immediately. Now back in the stern area of the cockpit uh, near the transom is your uh, shore power hookups here. There's two of them. Uh, you'll also notice the speakers are mounted, uh, recessed back in so they're not sticking out. You don't catch your, your uh, legs or feet on them. On the other side of the uh, aft cockpit near the transom, uh, you'll see that there's a uh, raw water wash down. The boat comes equipped with a hose and a quick snap fitting that fits right in here. Also, there is a uh, another area here, another spot here where you can hook a regular hose up and uh, use fresh water to hose as well. You'll notice uh, the, this nice teak table. It is removable. It's on a uh, uh, stand that comes out. It does fold back this way so that as you're getting on and off the boat or as if you want to get up forward, it, it uh, folds out of your way. You notice that uh, you have a very generous amount of seating in this back area. You know, lots of, you can see a lot of people. It is really great for entertaining. Underneath the seats, uh, you have storage, storage areas so that you can stow away more items, both port and starboard side. 
as well as uh, these areas here too. Let's take a look at the power plant that this uh, boat has to offer. Uh, we'll open up the engine compartment and you can see the uh, engines in there and the space that's available uh, to work on them if you need to. And then we, we'll, what we'll do is we'll raise the engine hatch. First of all, we'll need to put this carpet back like so. And you can see the, the separation on the aft deck here where this compartment will come up. Underneath the settee is a switch down below that will raise the uh, engine compartment. Okay. All right. You reach under and um, push the top of the button and the forward uh, deck area automatically raises up. With the hatch all the way up, we can see the uh, dual engines in here. Where they, we use the uh, three, 375 horsepower uh, MPI six liter Crusaders. Uh, they're, they're, cat, they're, they're catalyzed uh, engines to uh, be more friendly with the environment. You can see the large area that's down here. Uh, it allows you to be able to get in and work on the engines real easily. There's space for a generator. There is an option. We don't have it on this boat, but this, there's a small generator that goes right in there for, extra pow for an extra power plant. Uh, the batteries are forward. You can see the uh, Fireboy extinguisher that automatically goes off if uh, for some reason you were having an issue with the engines down here. So um, this is what the, the area looks like for the uh, engine compartment. One of the features is you pull out, you have a slide out uh, refrigerator. You can put uh, hors d'oeuvres in here, uh, store bottles, uh, any types of beverages. So it's right at your hand to hand out to people or people can just help themselves. That just slides shut like that. Underneath this area, after you lift up this cover, you'll notice that it has a nice sink area with a spigot here, cutting board. The drain is over here out of the way. As you move back towards this area here, you have a, a grill that you can um, cook hors d'oeuvres or burgers or whatever your fancy is. You know, one of the really great things about this about the coronet is that it ha this has seating forward along with the cat with the captain uh, you can sit uh, three people here no problem uh, with this table and uh, that you actually everybody gets integrated while you're uh, entertaining <laughs>